Who's coming out next? Oh, yeah. Okay, I believe we're halfway through, and next up is Ric Flair, who is an absolute legend. Still holds the record at the time of this recording for the most ever world titles. Well, that's the record that WWE uh, claims he has anyway, with 16. But John Cena is just one away from tying the record, and he may even tie that record tonight when he uh, is in that triple threat match with Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar for the, for the title. And I sincerely hope he doesn't win. Again, not because I'm a, I am ai hate John Cena, but just because something different. Lesnar to come out with the championship would be fresh. Seth Rollins winning the championship would be hugely fresh and a, a really bold move. They just need to be a bit more bold with the with how they've done the product because recently it's been really safe and really sort of mild and there hasn't been any shocks. I mean, okay, we're in the PG era now, but also, get out of here, Rock. You're going to have to get slammed to hell. Oh, the Ric Flair just chopped me. I just got chopped by an 80-year-old. Okay, I, I think Ric Flair is actually like 62, but uh, I got chopped by Ric Flair. Also, that might be the end for Kane, because as I say, did no, I know. <laughs> got right back up after a two-man file driver. I like it. I should probably go for more wrestling moves and just trying to strike the guys out of the ring. Oh, never mind. The game got me out after all. <laughs> well, that's true to real life, isn't it? Triple H getting the golden shovel out and burying everybody in sight. No, actually, a lot of people hate Triple H for that, but honestly, he's a lot better since he stopped being an active wrestler or a semi-active wrestler. He had an amazing match with Daniel Bryan back in WrestleMania. It's Sting. It's the man they call Sting. Oh, this is cool. We get Sting and Flair in the same ring because they had some amazing battles in WCW. Also, I get to look it up with uh, Sting. That's not the Sting of Splash. Does he not have the Sting of Splash? Let's try A and B together. No? All right, fine. Fuck you, Triple H. I'll just take you out in about five seconds. That's fine. What is the button for the Sting of Splash? Because that was meant to be what I was doing. Can I do it to The Rock? Only in this game where you get Sting doing a Sting of Splash to the Rock. Actually, again, no. You'd probably do it in 2K15 if you set it up. All right, who's out next? It's weird not having music. Kurt Angle! Technically, TNA is one and only representative... Does Sting not have the Sting... Sting... Sting of Splash? Does Sting not have the Sting of Splash in the corner? If he doesn't, I'm disappointed. I'm just going to take a couple of moments out to see if I can do that. While Flair tries to roll up Kurt Angle and eliminate him immediately. No, Rob does not want to be splashed in the corner, apparently. I can't say I blame him. It looks like it would hurt a hell of a lot. What was I saying? Oh, yes. Technically speaking, Kurt Angle is, is TNA's only representative in this film. Well, technically Jeff Hardy. Oh, also by Rob. Wow. Uh, I love those over-the-top Rob eliminations. Like, you can just knock him to the apron like Angle's about to do here. Unless I eliminate him first. Because I'd rather have Flair in the ring than Kurt Angle. No offense. I mean, I'm a huge Kurt Angle fan as well, but Flair just got here. What the hell was that game? Uh, Flair went to chop him out, and I picked Flair's ankle. I, I didn't even know that was possible. Also, I'm in the reverse ankle lock. That's not good. Okay, Kurt Angle, are you a bit more receptive to being splashed in the corner? Let's find... No, you're not. Is it too much for a man to ask that he just wants to pull off a trademark wrestling move of a trademark wrestler in, in black and white face paint? In a video game? Is that too much to ask? WWF, no mercy. Okay, in he comes. No, that's not the Stinger Splash either. I will pull this off and probably get eliminated. Okay, A and B together is the Stinger Splash. If I can actually stun somebody to the extent I can do that, I'll use that. Let's see, what else is in Sting's moveset? I know he'll have the Scorpion Death Drop for, for a uh, finish yet. Also, I don't want to get out the ring here, and I'm going to anyway. God damn it, Kurt Angle. I know you want a gold medal with a broken freaking net, but what is the point of you? Oh, this is going so well. Now, I, I don't really care if I win or not, to be honest. It would be nice, I suppose. But this is not one of the situations where I'm bad at video games, question mark. I'm, I'm sort of intentionally playing it. If I wanted to, I could just, like, throw everybody out of the ring really easily if I wanted to. He says, lying through his teeth. But uh, I could. There are exploits you can do in No Mercy that makes it easy to throw guys out of the ring, especially since you don't need to get them over the top rope. You can just knock them to the apron, through the ropes, and then they, and when they hit the floor, they're eliminated. Again, I kind of wish that wasn't the case, but again, I understand back in 2000 why they did that. Because it would have been complicated to have, well, if this guy goes out of the ring, he's not eliminated, but if he, just, if he goes out of the ring in this way, he is eliminated. I can understand that. And it would be kind of awesome if they ever made a... Uh, 
either a remake or a, or a sequel to this, but I don't think it will ever happen, sadly. I mean, uh, THQ had the had the license, and then Ukes had the license to make the, w the official WWE video games, and now it's 2K Games. I can't see them giving that up anytime soon. And as long as that happens, also I've, I've just realised I completely uh, ignored Edge coming into the ring. I'm so there's just so much going on. It's it, it, it's kind of hard to uh, focus on that and my character at the same time. Also, that was a hell of a clothesline. That was Jake Roberts' ass by Kurt Angle there with the short arm thing. I would have loved to include Jake Roberts, but I was trying to include people that even the non-mainstream fans would know. With one or two exceptions, as you've already seen, with like Owen Hart and other people like him. And I just didn't think Jake Roberts fit into that category. I'm sorry, every Jake Roberts fan out there, of which I'm one of them, because he was amazing back in the 90s. And again, I, I didn't watch a lot of wrestling back in the 90s, but I watched a little bit of it. And he was one of the guys that really impressed me. There were some really, really good workers uh, back in the back in the 90s that didn't really get the recognition they deserved. People like uh, Jake Roberts, uh, Rick Martel, who I share a birthday with, by the way, which is... Uh, well, I, I'm re I, I love the fact that I share a birth with one of my favourite guys of the 90s. And he was. And no, you will not see Rick Martel in this either. Because he's not in the game. I'm, I'm hoping... This is a hint to the makers of Showdown 64, by the way. <laughs> Include Rick Martel in your next build, please. <laughs> yeah, obviously, you don't have to. Also, Flair's going out. No, he's not, because I pressed the wrong button again, God damn it! Oh, and I have to get rolled up by Rick Flair. What else was I going to say? No, I, I just love the fact that they've included so many people, so there really is somebody in there for everybody. I mean, if you're if you're into classic wrestling, you've got Hulk Hogan. You can simulate Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant at WrestleMania. Well, actually, technically speaking, you can't, because the only WrestleMania you've ever gotten here is WrestleMania 15, but I'm sure it'll be coming in the future. Again, that's not a hint to the uh, to the makers of this at all. No, no, sir. Oh, I was hoping to spring off the ropes there, but it wouldn't let me do it. Maybe it's not in Ray's, uh, Ray's moveset. Kurt Angle has taken over the Owen Hart role, by the way, of just destroying everybody. Also, I get to do a single splash as Rey Mysterio. Go figure. Can I do a head scissors? Just, just the most random question in the history of the wrestling. Can I do a head scissors? Pos Given that Rey is a luchador, I think it's probably a, a good guess. Yes, I can do a head scissors. But yes, you, you can basically use this, this mod to either simulate classic matchups from the past, or, mo or do modern matches, or you can make it so that two people who never had a match in real life can suddenly face each other in a wrestling ring, and that's kind of awesome. And that to me has always been the appeal of a wrestling game, because it is after all a wrestling game. The word is in... No, the word is not in the clue. The clue there is in the, is in the word, the clue is in the description. Angle's about to pin flat! Angle has pinned flat, God damn it! Not that I'm showing any favouritism, no siree. Uh, what's this do? Oh, nice! Hold him up like an accordion, as uh, Jim Ross would used to say. I I can't stress enough how much I miss Jim Ross. I mean, the current commentary... What? Double arm drop by Edge and Kern Angle. Uh, oh, yeah, Eddie Guerrero, another one who sadly is no longer with us. And if I can keep Ray in the ring long enough, they'll get to hook it up. And again, this is the kind of the awesome thing about the people in this... that they've included in this game. And with more of them coming, as I say, there, there should be a pack of ten of DLC, because they... What they did is they released the original mod with either 8 or 10 uh, core wrestlers. And then they kept releasing DLC and future versions of the mod, and they just kept adding more and more people to it. And now, as I say, we're at a stage where they have nearly 150 wrestlers in the same game, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, the only game that comes close to that is Fire Pro, where you can have literally hundreds and hundreds of wrestlers. Also, that was awesome. Oh, that deserves a pinfall. Come on. Oh. I was kind of hoping that would be a pinfall. I've lost track of who's coming out next, by the way, but I suppose that's that's not too bad because that does mean that it's it's a surprise for me and a surprise for uh, for you as well. I have to confess, I have actually rigged a couple of the spots towards the end to be specific people, but hopefully when you see who they are, you'll agree with my decision. Because another problem this this and don't get me wrong, again, I love this mode, but another problem this this mode always had is that. Uh, very rarely do the guys that come in early, or even the mid part of the match, win it. As you say, that that can happen. That happens sometimes in real life. We've had guys come in from number uh, one and win it, number two and win it. Rip Flair won it from number three once. Uh, Randy Orton won it from number eight once, etc., etc. 
that doesn't usually happen just because of the way the gameplay is set up. So usually the guy that wins it is one of the last four entrants to come in. And number 30 always has a massive advantage because there will only be a maximum of three guys left for him to eliminate. And sometimes not even that, the way the game is set up. Also, I finally get to hook up Vega Guerrero and completely miss that Enziguri. That, that just sums up my, my, my uh, experience in this right here, doesn't it? Come on, somebody do a cool move to show it off. Well, I think Eddie was about to, to uh, back, give, give me a tilt-wheel backbreaker and then Kurt Angle got in the way again. Another thing, since we're talking about just the Royal Rumble in general here, another thing I love about the Rumble is its unpredictability. I mean, it's not been as unpredictable. Also, what the hell was that? I think that's meant to be an angle slam. By rights, I should have been angle slam twice there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually deliberately going to get pinned by angle next time. Can angle, can't angle slam me? What the hell is that all about? Fine, you know what? Four angle slams and a roll up. We'll just pretend that those angle slams worked and it wasn't the result of a glitch. In the game. Well, it's not even a glitch. I, I think that's probably a mistake in the in the game shark codes. It's probably because I'm playing as player four, and because I said player four, unless you play as a human, the move set doesn't uh, translate over. It's probably an issue to do with that. Also, coming at number twenty-two, I believe, is another one of my all-time favorites, and finally going in the Hall of Fame, the Macho Man. Randy Savage, ooh yeah! That's the worst Savage impersonation you'll ever hear. So I've managed to completely uh, mess up a Jim Ross impersonation, and completely managed to mess up a Randy Savage impersonation, all in the same video, good times. And I've just eliminated myself because I'm an idiot. I forgot Savage had that move. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, that's worth it. That was worth it just for that moment right there. Sorry, Randy Savage, I was about to talk you up and do an elbow drop off the top rope, and then I eliminated myself. Okay, replacing him, that's embarrassing, replacing him is the British Bulldog. And again, maybe he's slightly out of place in this all-star field, but god damn it, I've got to represent my country, haven't I? Also, what the hell is that? That looked like a sort of weird roll up. Oh, it's, it's, that, it's that choke. The Bulldog was a hell of a strong dude. He's kind of like Cesaro is in today's WWE, of course, the difference being that Cesaro can't get a push to save his life, it would seem. Am I being controversial? Possibly I am. Are people going to understand what I'm saying? Well, ten people might. I think the people that are on the on the forum, Old School Reunion, which is where you can actually get the uh, the mod, if, if you if you like the look of this, by the way, and you fancy you being able to use all these wrestlers in, in, in one game, then uh, I will include a link to the mod in the description to this video, although you will, you will need a copy of uh, WWE No Mercy in order to play it. And when I say copy, you know what I mean. I, I don't mean a cartridge. Now look guys, this, this is a completely legit um, modded uh, No Mercy cartridge with all these guys in it and these uh, incredibly uh, good looking HD graphics. Now that's all in the game. Also here comes CM Punk. The voice of the voiceless. I can't get over what I did as Randy Savage. That's amazing. I forgot that was his move. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a really good move hack, a really complicated move hack, but I forgot that if I pressed um, that combination of buttons, he did that and eliminated himself. So that's kind of amazing. The Macho Man actually did eliminate himself accidentally one year, so I guess it's our imitating life. But they let him go back in because they obviously they needed him for the finish of the match. So I, I think it, it was Jake Roberts again, actually. He, he, he threw out Jake Roberts and then he dived out over the top rope after him because at the time they were, uh, they were engaged in a, in a bitter blood feud. But the commentator sort of said, oh, well, actually, Savage, Savage isn't eliminated. You have to be thrown out. You can't just jump out. They would later go on to uh, change that rule when people would actually eliminate themselves, like Kane. Uh, Drew Carey. Yes, I, that was not, that was not uh, a mistake. Drew Carey, the, the, the host of Who's Who Lines Anyway. I mean, people who watch the Rumble, they don't get booed for that. I don't see CM Punk. Also, Bulldog's got a really nice uh, finish here. So let's use it on Punk. Forgetting, or, or not. Uh, let's use it on, on it. Let's use it on somebody before it runs out. God damn it, Edge. Stop countering. I'm not going to get to do it now, am I? Eddie, stop getting in the way. <laughs> I mean, I wish... I, I, I miss you, Eddie. I wish you were still with us. Same goes for the Bulldog, but stop getting in the way when I was about to set up my finishing maneuver. God damn it. 
Okay, maybe we can do it to... No, we can't. What is it that's this game and double team lose? Despite all its flaws, I do love this game still. Even after 15 years. I can't believe I'm saying this. It's 15 years since this game, game came out. This game... This game right here... That's got to be enough to get rid of Eddie Guerrero, surely. Just powering him to the mat. Oh, Edge is about to get rid of CM Punk and I can't do anything about it. Oh, if that spinning clothesline, that discus clothesline had hit him and knocked him out of the ring, that would have been incredible. Just incredible. Especially if it knocked him clean out of the ring and not just to the apron. What was I saying? What was I saying? So yeah, I, I love the unpredictability of the robot. And speaking of which, here comes the Iron Sheik, who I've included purely as a favour to, uh, to a friend of mine. GTF absolutely loves the Iron Sheik. We have conversations on Skype about how crazy the Sheik is this week. Uh, so he's in there because of because of that. So uh, if you're watching this GTF, buddy, there you are. I included your all-time favourite. No, seriously, the Iron Sheik is hilarious. And he is a former WWE champion, so he, he fits in, in that bracket. So in that respect, actually, he does belong in this all-star field. But some of the things he said are just absolutely hilarious, sometimes when he's out of his mind. And that's no uh, no offence to the man, by the way. I, I just mean, he's not exactly known for his lucidity when he's doing interviews. Let's just say that. He was a regular on the Howard Stern show, and it was absolutely hilarious. I don't think we got the Howard Stern show over here, but I've seen clips because GTF has linked me to them. And as I say, they're just absolutely amazing. And hey, as far as I know, apart from uh, his occasional rambling, the Iron Sheik is at least happy and healthy after, uh, after his career. He's also about to go out at the hands of the British Bulldog here. No, I'm sorry. For the sake of GTF, I can't eliminate him just like that. I have to keep the Sheik in for a little bit. I do have to keep the Sheik in for the next entrant. Who I may just give away who it is, by the way, but... Um, yeah, that's another one who I, I, kind, I kind of did a thing. I kind of set, set it up so that somebody will be coming out next. Iron Sheep, by the way, was actually a completely random pick to come out in number 24, but number 25, not so much. But yes, I, I do love the unpredictability of the Rumble, that you can get people that you haven't seen years come out. I mean, one year after The Godfather came back and got eliminated in like five seconds. Kevin Nash came back last year, although that wasn't so much unpredictable. So I, I, I just love the fact that you never really know who's going to show up next when that timer counts down to zero. It's one of my favourite matches of the year, is what I'm doing a horrible job of trying to say, basically. It is absolutely one of my favourite matches of the entire year. I mean, it may not be the best quality-wise, but excitement-wise, you can't top it. And I will be watching it this year. I will be watching it tonight. I'll have a bunch of friends in a Skype call. It's going to be fantastic. We also have a little game going on where we, we've all picked... This is going to sound really, really uh, sad, but we've all picked a number, and basically what we're going to do, also that was a terrible mistake on my part, I forgot Bulldog does not have that ability where you can actually go down and the guy flies over you onto the apron, and because of that, the Bulldog's been eliminated. But that may have been a blessing in disguise, because I know who's coming out next, and I'm going to love this, even without the theme music, because it is actually in the game, despite that he's not. It's none other than Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Arguably one of the most famous professional wrestlers of all time. Arguably the most famous professional wrestler of all time. And coming in at 25, where he actually won one year, he's got no chance. Or rather, I should say, no. He's got every chance in the world, unless I mess it up. I was about to say, everybody else has got no chance. Eddie, Sheiky Baby, Edge, I'm sorry, but you're all going out over the top rope. All getting pinned after a leg drop. The Sheik is trying to be a sneaky bastard here and rolling me up, but that's not going to work, Sheik. It would be, because Hogan beat the Sheik for the title, for his first ever uh, world title. So it would be, it would you know, be again, art imitating life if I got the Sheik out here. And I kind of wanted the Sheik in here when Hogan was uh, was in the ring. Anyway, I, I didn't know necessarily he was going to be controlled by me, but because of that rivalry, because of that match. Also, they just big boot the Sheik over the ropes. That would have been amazing. No, go away, Edge. Hit the Sheik if you have to. I can always pin him. It still counts. Not being cowardly at all there, am I? But yeah, it has been arranged that I'm going to be in a Skype call with a bunch of... What the hell is Edge doing to the Iron Sheik, by the way? I'm going to be in a Skype call with a bunch of friends. We're going to be chatting as the matches go on. And we've all picked uh, a number. I'm not going to say what my number is. But we've all picked a number. And basically, we are going to back that particular wrestler for the rest of the year. 
We did this last year, and uh, I picked number 24, and I got JBL, who is a commentator, also good by Eddie Guerrero. Eliminate. Yeah, I got JBL, who's a commentator. One of them, one of the guys in the Skype call, he got Roman Reigns, who actually broke the record and will probably win the match tonight. I kind of hope he doesn't. Again, not because I'm against Roman Reigns particularly, but because I just don't think he's ready yet and there are more deserving people. Also, yeah, I may have done a thing again to make sure that Hogan and, and the Giant, Andre the Giant, <laughs> were in the ring at the same time. The way I've been playing, they won't get to hook up. But um, also, are we going to see a spear here? I'm going to try and border some Andre at least once. We took the Argo CSB here and Edge completely whiffed it. Now one thing that they've done that makes this game a lot more realistic is in the original OC, the super heavyweights, and there's only like three, there's Rikishi, Andre, who actually is a character, you have to unlock him, but he is a character. Rikishi, Andre and Viscera also sadly no longer with us. Also I've just realised if I can get out of this, I can slam Andre the Giant. Okay, let's try it. Can you body slam Andre the Giant, brother? Yes, I can. And now we're going to drop a leg on the Iron Sheik and pin him. Spoilers, but that's what's going to happen. Another brilliant thing about this, look at this. This is the front special. It's a scoop slam into the torn, into the leg drop. If I can pin him. Let me pin him, game. Come on. Once again, uh, art does not imitate life. Okay, that was a surprise.